Smithfield Meat Market in the heart of London, the largest centre for carcass meat in the world. From here, meat is distributed to a vast population throughout the country. A process of collection and distribution followed in fish and vegetable markets across Britain, efficiently, safely and hygienically. But is it as simple as it looks? Without the utmost care, meat, fish or any foodstuffs can become the means by which disease is transmitted to the public. The man responsible for this care, the public health inspector. He is the front line of defense against food poisoning. Often disease sections are only visible when the carcass is cut up and then only to the expert eye. It's not surprising then that there's grown up right beside this great market a college which has a unique course in food technology for public health offices. Since many developing countries have adopted the same ideas and similar public health laws to Britain, the course is widely attended by overseas students, especially from Africa, where the beef and other food industries are constantly expanding. Officially, it's called the College for the Distributive Trade, but it's still well known by its old name, Smithfield College. The head of the Food Commodities Department has designed a course to meet the needs of public health officers, veterinary officers, and many others concerned with the health of the public. Will this meat still be fresh and fit to eat by the time it reaches the table? Before being able to recognize the processes of disease, the student must understand the whole animal. To generalize disease, we must have a good idea of the circulatory pathways um, throughout the body. So, if I just demonstrate... Here, they learn on a model how each animal or fish functions, how disease is transmitted, where the organs are situated, and how these would be affected by any disease. The main blood vessel running back here, of course, is the aorta. Next, real carcasses are examined. Iliac lymph node found just here. There's the iliac lymph node. You see that? There's two of them there. Students First, learn to identify likely trouble spots like glands. Often the glands, indicators of disease, react more to infection than any other area. During the one-year course, students become familiar with all types of meat for checking continues right through from wholesale market to the final shopkeeper. In the laboratory, more tests. Systematic analysis of additives, sampling of food, and quality control methods are studied. Students soon know how to recognize the presence of any harmful bacteria, such as salmonella, in food or milk. We must do it, so vapor through the tubes, into a calibrated tube where it's measured. This is the head from a pig, which was rejected during routine inspection, which upon first appearance appeared to be a fairly normal pig. However, if we look at the submaxillary lymphatic nodes, as we do in routine inspection, we should see on closely observing it that we have indeed a necrotic lesion in the lymphatic node itself. What might that indicate, do you think? I think it might be tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, yes. And Most food poisoning results from infections which cannot be easily recognized by sight or smell. By examining specimens of unfit meat, a student learns not just what to look for, but what to do about it. I agree that you can reject the affected parts. But if it is uh, generalized, it's advisable to reject the uh, the whole carcass. Some of the effects of these differences can be seen here. Some of the cheeses are free of mold, but others are very heavily molded. Would you agree that, Mark? Besides meat and fish markets, students visit a number of processed food factories and warehouses, bakeries and dairies. This cheese warehouse gives them an opportunity to see in a practical setting the problems involved and the regulations designed to ensure hygienic handling of food products. The mold appears from the cloth wrappings around the cheese. Now, the mold doesn't penetrate into the... Surface. The public health inspector's role is changing all the time. His concern is not only to prevent our surroundings, our environment getting worse, but to make the world a healthier and safer place to live in. 